Okay. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm Nick from, from, from Austria. I'm, um, I'll be talking about, this is also on the next slide, so I can, can, can take a little time, about the crisis of democracy, the problem with algorithms, the lack of discords, the truth about uh, reality and fantasy, uh, uh, and the most important thing about humans in five minutes or less. So uh, this is a pretty dense story, so I hope you forgive me if I refer to my notes quite often. Um, but um, let me start by stating the, the um, obvious. Um, uh, democracy is in crisis, and I think he, uh, most of you will, will agree um, about that, and it's in crisis all around the world. Now, the question is, what can this be tied to? It's pr it can probably be tied to a lot of things, but one important thing is um, a blurring of the concept of democracy itself, which is understood less and less as the, uh, the rule of the people, but as the rule of the majority over the uh, minority. Um, and um, in this uh, si situation, core democratic principles like political tolerance, checks and balances, or uh, the rights of m minorities are first ridiculed, then discredited, and finally, very often, they are um, abolished. And um, in this light, the crisis of democracy uh, is also and mainly a crisis of discourse. Um, a symptom of societies increasingly reluctant to consider um, the foreign idea, uh, to respect the opposing position, or to listen to the voice of uh, the other. This is closely connected, obviously, to uh, the problem with algorithms, which is not the ability to use large amounts of data to make decisions for us. It is the ease with which this ability is used for comfort and control. Um, as we can hardly um, imagine these algorithms used in, in any other way. In the age of filter bubbles and confirmation bias, we uh, zoom in, in ever more closely on the information we already want, the voices we already know, and the com communities we are already part of. This lack of discord is uh, probably the greatest uh, danger to uh, uh, democracy. When society is no longer a variety of different voices, but a collection of well-separated cohorts of opinion, uh, then self-affirmation and an attitude of incomprehension takes, place, uh, takes the place of democratic discourse as a core practice of social connectedness. It is, however, possible to imagine a different way. Um, uh, using algorithms not to connect us to kindred spirits, like-minded souls, perfect matches, but to confront us with those we disagree with uh, the most, and in this way creating not matches made in heaven, but connections made across the widest possible gap, opportunities for discord, conflict and confrontation, and I'm, I'm serious about that, that ideally provide a chance for learning and for debate. Now, this also leads us to the question of, uh, or actually the truth about rea uh, uh, reality and fantasy, and that is that we must leave behind the idea that we all share the same reality while, while our fantasies are our own. Neither part of this idea holds up, if you look closely at that. Uh, the more we uh, feel connected th th uh, through modern modern technologies, the more we see that we're living in a multitude of different realities, each made up of the things we decide to, ad to agree, uh, to accept, um, or uh, like. Um, and uh, this individualization of uh, uh, realities is at the core of the crisis of democracy. The good news is we can find this lost connection between us elsewhere, and it is where we have always found it. And this is... Um, in the fact that cont contrary to our uh, uh, realities, it is our fantasies that we can, can truly share, using an ability that might seem magic, but is, that is actually uh, deeply human, maybe the most important thing about humans, and that this is what, uh, what Johann Heusinger calls the play element of culture, which can be summarized as the ability to not only create a fantasy world, but to share the fantasy and through common practice and belief uh, make this fantasy a reality. This is the way we create and constantly recreate culture, and it is the way we have invented abstract, fantastical ideas like uh, democracy um, um, and made them a, a reality through practice and dedication. 
This ability to play out a fantasy with sacred earnest and thereby shape reality together requires more than belief. It requires the willingness to, ex to express and listen to foreign ideas, to accommodate those who are strange to us, to hear the voice of uh, the other. This crisis of democracy is a crisis of human connection and the truest form of human connection, I, I uh, think, is through play. And in this, play, uh, in, in this sense, I think it is high time to play. And with this, I thank you. <laughs>